So why are we making a fairy garden at almost three in the morning? Because we can. So we're gonna use this. Should be a blast. Welcome back to my channel, it's Pixie again, and if you're new here, welcome, my name is Pixie, and good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever you're happy you're doing when you're watching this, are privately and safely, and taking care of yourself and your loved ones, and tonight, it's going to be another awkward crafting video, because those are some of our favorites, right? 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 Okay, anyway, so I was cleaning out my porch, and I have this area behind my hot tub that does not work. I'm a renter. We rent. And... We tried fixing the hot tub, long story short, there's a part that you can't get anymore because I think this hot tub it was like around in the 70s. So we just figured like one year, I think it was during lockdown, we were just like, let's try to fix it. And then I came out one day and the whole porch was flooded. So that was a no go. And now the hot tub has a tendency, because it has a cover on it, um, to become a catch all. So, and there's like the space, like dead space behind the hot tub and stuff just kind of like eventually migrates back there. And I totally forgot that I had this terrarium that my mom gave me and I'm scratching some paint off of it because it was stored weirdly and some paint got on it. I'm just like, let's not do that. Um, but yeah, I went through this whole cleaning spree like for the past two weeks, like new year, new me, clean the house kind of thing. And I was like, oh my god, I forgot about this terrarium. And we just, mom gave it to me because she was going to make a fairy garden. And then I took it and then it got abandoned in the chaos of a household, you know, as things do. So here's what it looks like. And it's freaking heavy. And it's just like a greenhouse style. It's shaped like that. For some reason it reminds me of Crystal Palace at Magic Kingdom because they have like this, I know, um, maybe it's the other, the Plaza restaurant. It almost looks like a conservatory room with all these big open windows. But anyway, it's like a greenhouse style and it's like solid freaking metal. And it's got this really interesting shape. I wouldn't even know what to call this shape. As the lid and this is real glass and yeah, I tried to clean it up the best I could. I might just continue cleaning it as we go. And I already have my little lights set aside. And this is like a heavy, heavy base. So I was like, why not make a fairy garden? Like, let's do this. And I had a fairy garden on my porch when we first moved in here. But a certain four-legged black pet of mine named Barry was peeing in it because it was just on like a tray and exposed. So I challenge you, Barry, to try to destroy this one with, okay, yeah, it probably won't go outside. But anyways, yeah, I caught my cat going to the bathroom in my first fairy garden. So I kind of broke it down. So I have this bag of goodies that I have since cleaned off because of Barry. Um, this is not a Barry shaming video. I love my cats. <laughs> I forgave him. Yeah, I have all these, you know, the typical resin fairy garden items found at the dollar store and Michael's and just, yeah. And then if you remember this bag that I made, my little fairy garden Eda bag, I have leftovers from this project in this bag. I need a better craft storage system aside from grocery bags but anyways here we are there's lots of goodies in here and like I said I already picked out the little LED lights you can find these on Amazon this is one of the shorter strands these are the rainbow ones of course so yeah I'm gonna move you to the floor we're gonna figure out how to do this we're going to make a fairy garden in this awesome freaking terrarium greenhouse thing in miniature let's do this yay okay stop being awkward awesome Awkward. Yeah, I think it's just gonna be fairy themed. Fairy themed, because I already have like a haunted house, 
project I want to do in miniature this year. So like I don't want to do the same themes over and over again. So we're just going to play around with this one and see where it takes us because I'm super excited to finally use this. I might keep this on the bar in our kitchen instead of like I said putting it outside so that even though it's like pretty solid I wouldn't want to like Barry be I wouldn't want Barry to be like challenge accepted and there's like a hole in it you know he'd find a way um I wish I had succulents maybe once we're done here I'll go to the store and add some real succulents to it but it's just awesome and deserves to be used so Let's get started. Longest intro ever. Awesome, awkward video. Yay! Okay, let's see what we have in these bags because I've added stuff to them since I did that fairy garden eat a bag. Okay, I hope that's not totally blinding because the ring light's right there. Jesus. So this one. I like the fairy garden accessories. Like I said, the one that Barry had the problems in. Like these are too big. I have a couple of these lying around. I'm gonna pull the big ones out. Like this cute little log cabin. He'd be so cute. But since this is like a very small terrarium base, I'm not gonna have a lot of room. So it's a bigger bigger items. These are so dusty. I thought I cleaned these off. I guess not well enough. That could fit. That could be like the centerpiece. I don't know because I only have this much to work with. So this one's going to be very simple. I don't know. I feel like I should take all the houses out and not do those. Like even the bench looks like it'd be too big, but we do more fairy guns. So we use them somehow. Don't know where the bell came from. Actually, I actually think that's part of the wind chime on my porch. The gnome might be a little too big. There's another windmill house thing. We're gonna set those aside for a different project. This would be cute. I think I'm gonna add this. It's got little mushrooms and a bench. That could be a good piece. And we have a bird. Is that an Oriole? I'm just kind of setting them in the base to make sure they're not going to take up too much room. As I make noise. That bridge is so cute. So cute. I have so many of these. I just kind of pick them up when I see them at, you know, like craft stores or dollar stores. There's a little fairy. I'm gonna put her in there. I might not use all these, and however this little terrarium turns out, there's a little bird bath, sunflower dealy. The little turtle is so cute. Okay, I think the turtle's gonna go in there. Look how fat he is. I love him. There's another bird bath. It's a little bit smaller. We got like a little petunia with a bluebird. A little smaller than that one. We got trees. We got two trees. I don't know what kind of route I'm going with this. So there's so many choices. There's another bird, a little blue bird. And we got these little. I think this goes to my little pony playset. But it's cute. There's a bunch of apples. We might include that. I don't know why that's in my fairy garden thingy. More mushrooms. And then we have these little guys. That could be stepping stones. Another mushroom. A baby mushroom. Itty bitty. I got some black bears. I got a hedgehog. I got a bunny. We're just basically like, here's my fairy garden haul. <laughs> collection. Black bears. I feel like the black bears deserve their own terrarium. Like a different theme. Like 
Wouldn't it be cool to do like a Brave themed? If I could find like a tiny Merida. If you've ever seen Brave from Disney, like the triplets and the mom get turned into bears. There's a little hedgehog. A Disney Brave Pixar terrarium. Yeah, we're gonna save the black bears. A little bunny. Okay, the rest is like a mailbox. Actually, two. Two wooden mailboxes. Those are so cute. There's like a table, and there's some matching benches. Which went with the bears. Maybe with the bears back. Crinkle, crinkle. Um. So yeah, I'm leaving the little stuff out. The houses, the bench, and the bears are gonna go back. And then I have these tiny little fairy tale books. Once upon a time. It was real paper. <laughs> and they're dirty. Like I said, these were outside. But it gives it more of a woodsy feel. And that one said once upon a time. This one says old fairy tales. I've just been collecting these. Like I said, my first fairy garden failed because the cats, or cat, destroyed it. Now we have this bag with a bunch of ivy. They're probably cut to size. Um, I got these from the dollar store. Just plain white rocks, stones, decorative stones. Might do like a little trail. I'm trying not to add too much stuff. Glue stick. Because it's such a small base. Use some moss. I also have this little rainbow trail from the dollar store that I never use. Sticker. Okay. I guess what I'll do is just show you what I have and then we'll get started. I don't know if I'll need the hot glue, but I'm definitely going to add some of like, the fake ivy and stuff. Is that it for the figurines? And then I have like some Tinkerbell figurines I didn't use for that bag. I don't know if that'd be too tall. I might stick one in there. So I also have these little pet, little pet shop figurines. There's a skunk and then a bunny. And then we have a sign that says welcome. And a tree thing. A windmill thing. It's a little bit shorter. And this is like a water spigot <laughs> with some flowers. Watering the flowers. And then we have this post with a little froggy on a leaf. So I guess what I'll do is put lights in the base of it and then build around the lights. So you can see the lights peeking through the moss. So let me, now that you see what I have to choose from, let me put you down so you can see what I'm doing and we'll get started.
This is what I have so far. I'm gonna tweak it as I go. Like, I wanted something taller in the middle, but I still think it's cute. I added some oversized, well, for the scale, oversized fake flowers and leaves. I love the lights. I love the little mushroom guys. I love the rainbow bridge. I was iffy about this fairy, but I felt like the little Tinkerbell figurines were too much, but I don't know. We'll play around with it. I'm pretty happy with it overall. This is also four in the morning, so you know I'll probably play around with it. And but yeah, this is the final result for for now. This is just a random 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. video, but I like it. Let's see what it looks like with the dome on. <laughs> Thank you everybody so so much for watching this video and joining me in my little journey to make a really awkward video about a fairy garden but I hope you enjoyed it at least a little bit maybe it inspired you to make your own fairy garden if you have made a fairy garden before I would love to hear all about it in the comments below and thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you're wearing whatever makes you happy because it's pretty much usually the whole point of the channel is just doing what makes you happy as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else and if anybody has a problem with it, just say screw it because if they're losing sleep over it, it's not your problem. So yeah, I hope you have a wonderful night, day, afternoon, tea, brunch, champagne, whatever you're doing. Hope you're doing it wonderfully. And I will talk to you very, very soon. This is the worst outro ever. Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Love you so much. Bye, Algar Pixie. Love you. Bye, Algar. Bye. Bye.